good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today we're gonna talk about burning MIDI in FL Studio I saw this from Larry O and I had to share it because this is some serious sauce if you don't know who Larry O is he's a super dope FL Studio 20 guru okay I'm gonna link him down in the description go check his content out okay so to do this we're gonna want to put in patcher so we're gonna go to the channel rack and we'll find patcher right here if you don't see it go to more plugins okay now we're gonna want to go to this preset Yada saw. What this is going to let us do is press one key on our typing keyboard. So if we turn this on, we can press any key on our typing keyboard and it's going to play chords for us. It'll just give us chords. So we can put whatever key we want. Let's just go to E. Now I'm going to press a key on my typing keyboard. I'm just going to press Z and it'll give me this chord. B will give me this chord. Y. So you get the idea. So we can just kind of put in notes here. So let's just get a, a chord progression. Okay, so we, we came up with this pattern right here. Now you can actually burn that to MIDI so you can actually see all the notes in here. So let me show you how to do that. So we're going to go into that same preset and we're going to go to the map section on the patcher. We're going to bring this out so we can see it a little bit better. And we'll use the middle mouse button to kind of drag it out into frame. So we're kind of looking for these effects right here. They're called the key mapper, okay? We're gonna drag these over here. So we're gonna take this little blue ball right here and left click and drag and let go on the 2FL Studio. And it's gonna bring this up and we'll do MIDI port zero, okay? Now we're gonna wanna go back over and do the same thing with that other one. Just left click, drag, bring it to FL Studio here just like that. And it's not gonna ask us for a port for that second one. So now what we can do is we can go back to the pattern, right click it, and do burn MIDI to current pattern. Now it burned that MIDI so you can manipulate it inside the, the playlist and you can also change the sound of it. So we're gonna get rid of the tail ends over here. And we're just gonna find another preset to put it into an Omnisphere. So we ended up finding this sound in Omnisphere and just copied the pattern over. Now we can even manipulate this pattern more. We'll bring it over and we'll start adding some other notes. So we added these notes. So yeah, don't sleep on that super easy way to get some super dope chord progressions and then burn it right to MIDI so you can manipulate it and change the sound of it. Really dope sauce. Once again, shout out Larry Yo. Make sure you go check him out with the link in the description. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.